Hello there guys, Fleep here. Um, it's been a while since my last video um, and recently I've been working on a lot of different things that's why I haven't posted too much. Uh, but today I wanted to show you a preview of my newest tutorial which I'll be making hopefully. I've got to plan it tonight and hopefully I'll make it by tomorrow and then I'll upload it probably tomorrow night hopefully. It's going to be a very big tutorial, probably one of my biggest ones so far and um, kind of the most... Um, probably the most requested more or less um, so yeah as you can see here right in front of you it's uh, an assault cube aimbot uh, basically um, a lot of people ask me for an aimbot and this is a memory driven aimbot which is uh, the ones that all the proper hackers use and the um, some of the code won't be um, you know fully as hardcore as some people use but this is in, in theory what every hacker uses which is um, a memory driven aimbot which is the fastest one you can get there is no uh, my last tutorial was the color aimbot tutorial which is very very slow and uh, on most people um, unless you have a very powerful computer it will use up all the resources this one will, will not use anything more than uh, 15 megabytes of RAM so you can see how, how fast it is and um, how little memory it needs so first thing I can show you here um, I'm going to show you this in action pretty much straight away but um, all right, so I'm going to go view. Hopefully, this won't freeze too much, and then I'll show you the game in full screen. So, as you can see, I've got a hell of a lot of um, desktop icons, but that's okay. You won't need to see them. But yeah, um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Um, this is um, kind of my first proper aimbot because I did I did a couple a while back, and I did one for C++. But um, in the end, I had copied a couple of people's code a bit. So, for example, I had a couple of functions that had. I probably shouldn't be talking about this till the tutorial, but because I'm just wasting time here. But I had a couple of functions that weren't mine. So things like uh, for the aiming and stuff. And I didn't really feel as though that was my my work. So I didn't count that as my own aimbot, even though it was working and it was fine. This one I did uh, probably about 98% of the whole aimbot is mine. I used probably like a line or two of code from. Um, uh, a guy I found online because uh, I was having trouble with the actual final aiming but uh, pretty much all of it is mine and yeah so here you go as you can see some of the stuff you'll see here um, I haven't attached it to the game yet so I'm going to choose the game here which is called AC Client and as you can see here you can see things update and that's just for debugging purposes and uh, the game's freezing a little bit but it's not too bad um, and as you can see you've got like mouse X and mouse Y as I'm moving the mouse and some debug stuff I put here like as you can see to find out the uh, X mouse and the Y mouse so this is just a testing thing kind of to see and we'll do that also in the, in the tutorial um, as you can see there at the end on the enemy details right here there isn't any because on the game I'm playing against uh, I'm not playing against anyone right now um, I will go against the bot in a minute just to show you but what all you need to know is if you can do this okay if you can um, on the aimbot on the tutorial I'll really hint and I'll really um, try and get the idea across that this should be done um, um, I'll tell you to follow I can't get an idea straight here but I'll tell you to follow for this game and then you can always adapt it to your game but it's going to be a fairly complex one and um, it will be perfect for those of you that followed a couple of my previous tutorials if you're just jumping into my video then uh, I recommend that you uh, maybe follow my how to hack any game tutorial because going in fresh to do this you will be able to follow me because I'll do step by step but um, you will not understand most of it but never mind this is um, tutorial conversation anyways so I will just go into a one on one game and then I'll show you it um, with the details on the left there in action and then I'll go into a full screen one so you can see the game running properly and you can see how it behaves so I'm just going to choose a single player bot deathmatch and if you're wondering why I chose this game it's because it's for a couple of reasons uh, pretty much the same reasons why I chose it for my how to hack any game tutorial first because it's a very small file which means you guys can download it easy and second it's not a too easy or too difficult game it's more on the easy side to hack but you know what it's like you gotta you gotta first 
be able to walk to do some running that's the way I see everything pretty much um, so let's just choose the bot skill to be bad and we're gonna go just two players me and someone else I'm gonna go for my usual map that one okay so um, as you can see here I'm on the thingy and enemy health oh crap yeah I left uh, these aren't showing because I did something earlier to modify it but don't worry about that those don't mean anything the aimbot still works fine so as you can see I'm gonna press right click and as you can see it's following him so I'm just moving around jumping and it's following him. wherever he goes it just follows him you see uh, you can use any key you like that's up to you obviously different games will want different keys but as you can see I'm just aiming at him and he keeps focusing on his head I don't know why he hasn't shot at me yet actually oh yeah because I chose a bad bot but yeah as you can see I'm just gonna pull the trigger for a little bit and it just keeps following him so he's dead there aren't any more enemies so uh, we stop following him so that's pretty much it, uh, all you really need to see for this, so I'm going to put it into full screen now and I'll show you a proper game with four people and you can see the aimbot properly in action. Okay then, so here we are the game, um, as I'm going to walk around, um, basically I might as well just start a one to one game, um, I'll mention some things that I would like to let you know in the meantime anyway, so I'm going to go for bad because I don't like bots to be very good. Um, yeah, just choose this map. So I'll show you this in action straight away. So as you can see here, um, the first bit that you saw anyway earlier. So here it is, uh, another distance. So as you can see, I probably shouldn't be using a submachine gun for this, but there you go. Um, but as you can see, this is very very quick. Um, obviously, uh, as as always, I always tell you guys this, but I always lose frames. Especially now my computer has been a bit slow recently. I have to get a new one, but um, I lose a bit of frames. Uh, I I drop down, if you can see on the bottom right there, I usually get over 200 frames with this game. Um, I drop to around 60, which obviously, if you shoot slower in the game, you, uh, you're you likely to get killed, because these bots actually aren't bad. But as you can see, it focuses on them very nicely. It, um, I'm going to show you it with four players in a second. Um, there isn't much to say, to be honest. This same bot is coded in C-sharp. Which I decided to use C sharp because I, got, I get a lot of requests for C sharp hacks. People say to me, "Why can't you use C sharp for games? And uh, why do you always need to use C plus plus?" And the answer is, uh, I'll go into more detail during the tutorial. But from my experience, the answer is that you can use C sharp to do almost everything that you do in C plus plus. But you always have to go and do extra work. And that's fine for some people that aren't comfortable with C plus plus. But in most cases, you can write. For example, this could be written in maybe, let's say, 80, 90 lines in C++, whereas with C-sharp you'll need at least double, triple that, because you need to do a lot of DLL imports and whatever. Um, there's no point in explaining this, because um, I'm sure most of you know this, and if you don't, I'll explain it more, a bit more in my tutorial. Uh, anyways, so, where was I? Um, yeah, so I decided to use C Sharp because C Sharp is a very friendly language, and I know a lot of you guys are comfortable with C Sharp already. And um, as you can see, that um, the pistol is ass. But yeah, a lot of you guys are comfortable with C Sharp, so as you can see, it just tracks him wherever he goes. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's as fast as you can, as whatever fast or however fast your computer can run the game. That's how fast the aimbot is going to target the um, the enemy. Okay, um, so yeah, we decided to use C-Sharp for this, we, like, like I'm a group of people, no, I decided to use C-Sharp for this because um, I just, I generally enjoy, enjoy coding C-Sharp, and um, I will redo this, or at least make a more advanced version of it, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, and then post the C++ tutorial as well. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a fairly big tutorial, uh, and I'm going to stop talking crap because I'm just wasting time now. Uh, so I'm going to go for a deathmatch of four people, just so you guys can get an idea. And I'll always choose this map because it's small and you'd have to run half an hour to find the enemies. So as you can see, I'm here. So what this does, I'm going to give you a quick explanation of this. First thing it does is it finds the closest enemy we've got, okay? It finds the closest enemy to us. Um, also, I've got a background hack going on, by the way, to give me uh, unlimited ammo. And that's from my How to Hack Any Game tutorial. Um, so what this does is it it focuses on an enemy. For example, I've chosen my hotkey to be uh, right click and this game by the way, as you can see, there's a lot, a hell of a lot of recoil. So if I just shoot normally, that's what happens, you see. Uh, that's why it's so difficult to kill enemies straight away. You can always turn off recoil, that's very easy to do. Uh, but I, I didn't want to go too off topic here and use anything other than the aimbot. Uh, and basically, 
see if I hold it, it will focus on that enemy until I let go. Once I press it again, it will look at the closest person to me. So let's say we've got three enemies, it will find whoever's closest to me and it will aim at them. Now, if they're behind a the wall, then it is what it is. It will always aim at whoever's closest to you. Um, and if you're aiming at someone and you don't let go of the um, right click, it won't. Um, leave that person so even if someone comes closer to you you won't leave that person that's something we'll code in the tutorial so as you can see here as soon as you kill someone it aims straight away at someone else whoever's closest after them it does name it at dead people obviously because we, we wouldn't want to do that so I'm just wasting ammo here because it keeps just aiming at different people but as you can see it snaps straight away from one to another and this is great because in some games like this is a bad example of a game because it takes a lot of ammo to kill an enemy but in games like Call of Duty, you kill people without a fucking second thought. Sorry about swearing there, that wasn't necessary. But you kill people without a second uh, thought, and it will be very straightforward. Um, I think this is it. Hopefully, this is all you guys needed to see. Uh, I will make the tutorial uh, hopefully tomorrow, and then upload it on the next day. But because this, I want to make sure this is very clear for you guys. I'm going to need some time to plan it, and hopefully, I'll spend most of my morning tomorrow to plan it. And then I'll start doing the actual tutorial night. But this shouldn't be anything more than an hour and a half or so. So it'll be like six videos um, separate. And uh, yeah, that should be uh, about enough. So yeah, um, I've got some other things coming up soon, which I'll talk to you guys about maybe in that tutorial. I really should talk about them here. But uh, basically, uh, if you guys know about my site, guidedhacking.com, uh, there's a lot of porn there usually. So if you want to go check that out. And uh, what we do on that site is we um, obviously we I post all these videos there, and um, I do prefer that you guys see it on YouTube though because it's you know usually best for everyone. And um, although it, you know up to you, you watch them wherever you want. But um, there you can find all my videos and you can find a, a forum and stuff. And um, we're going to be releasing an application soon for the site with um, a lot of hacks. Hopefully this is um, I'm going to be adding more hacks to it. Um, along with some other people we'll be doing like um, maybe doing name bots for games like Wolf Team and things like that because I know you guys are all into that because um, a lot of people always ask me for hacks for that also uh, just before I leave a quick thanks to um, all you guys that have been leaving me um, feedback it's been very nice of you um, I do <laughs> every now and then I get some hate but that's that's fine it's okay uh, I know you guys got my back anyway so it's not a problem um, but most of you guys have, you've been giving me great feedback and um, obviously some amateur mistakes I used to make on my early tutorials I try to avoid them now I try and plan everything out to be as simple uh, not as simple per se but as straightforward as possible uh, so you guys don't make uh, stupid mistakes like me um, but yeah uh, hopefully I'll definitely keep doing those tutorials um, a lot of you guys assume that I know a lot more than I do and I, I don't. Um, I'm very comfortable with uh, some hacking, but I don't spend all my time doing it. Um, every now and then, I've got uni projects to work, and I'm going to start my third year of uni uh, soon. So uh, I'm going to try and get as many tutorials out before I do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, as I go through things, I will keep uploading. So whenever I learn something new or I find a very decent tutorial out there, I will make a, my own step by step of it and. Um, yeah, I hope you guys en enjoy that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the tutorial tomorrow. Obviously, you'll hear f more from me then, and uh, I've wasted way too much time in this video. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please leave a like, because uh, I know my preview videos uh, have a lot of uh, hate on them, uh, because people come across them and they don't actually realize what's going on, so they think uh, um, they're going to leave a nasty comment, and they're going to um, give me a thumbs down, but uh, if you guys enjoy this, and I'm looking forward to the tutorial tomorrow or so. Please leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. If not, that's also fine. Um, anyways, I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys on the tutorial. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys later.